Hey guys, it's Kansas, just Kansas, and I'm at Harpers Ferry National Park. Um, it was kind of a whim to go here. My mom and I decided to go last night. It's a really fun place to go. That beautiful sound you hear is a leaf blower because they're doing some weeding. It's kind of obnoxious. I'll post pictures about it. Um, one thing I found really cool about Harpers Ferry is growing up in Idaho, a lot of things were Lewis and Clark. And so I moved out here and we went to Harpers Ferry for the first time. And Lewis and Clark actually started their adventure in Harpers Ferry. That's where they got their guns, their boats, the group of people all met together here in Harpers Ferry. And then they traveled through the Louisiana Purchase into Idaho and then on to Oregon. So coming here was really nice because it was like, oh, you know, we know Lewis and Clark. This is where they started. So it kind of gave us like a starting point, like a comfort zone. But so we're in Harpers Ferry. Here, I'll show you around. Now those railroad tracks are still in service, and then if you look this way, you have old buildings and things that, um, some still have shops and stores, and um, people live here, like, it's not just like, uh, oh, you go to Harper's Ferry, people actually live here in town, stay in the hotels, they do the whole shebang, so it's kind of neat to see that, you know, even though it's like, oh, you assume it's like old and like a ghost town, it's not. All right, that is everything. What happened to Harpers Ferry? It's flooded a few times, had a few fires, and then there was, of course, the John Brown raid. He was an abolitionist who uh, came here to say, hey, slavery's bad, and he got into a huge fight. Um, he also did Bleeding Kansas, which sing. I will post probably the description of the park in the Bible below, so you guys can read about it and see. I highly recommend coming. Ciao for now.